Welcome back to Marketing Champions here in Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're talking about marketing with marketing experts from around the country. And today we're in Sacramento, California with Christina Kumar from Christina Kumar Public Relations. And Christina, welcome to our conversation today. Hi, Howard. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. We're excited that you're here and to learn a lot more about you. So why don't you get started with sharing with us how you got started in the marketing industry? Well, in the past, I have done marketing for a real estate firm and also a business brokerage, and I learned a lot during those few years. And so then I took those skills and I created my own business. Well, it's always good to get that right kind of background moving in, but you've obviously started a business in focusing on public relations. So what made you decide to go in that direction? Well, so several years ago, I went to Google for entrepreneurs competition. Um, and to be able to um, get word out about a new startup, you have to be really good at marketing and public relations. So basically, I self-taught myself a lot of PR, and I realized I was really good at it, and I liked it. So I just um, ended up forming my own business and getting some traction. So that was that was I knew I was on the right path. Well, it's always good to feel that that level of success and really seeing the results for yourself and obviously for your clients as well. So when you're starting with a new client, what conversation are you having with them so you're able to best tell their story? Well, usually the conversation um, involves around new releases, um, if they're working on anything that needs to be put into the limelight, like for example, um, one of my clients, Michael Lloyd, he's the producer of the um, Dirty Dancing soundtrack. Um, one of the last things we did before COVID, obviously, was a movie scene for a his documentary that he's releasing. And so we went on a few news stations and got the word out. And we were with that, we were able to get a lot of um, people interested in the movie and also um, we were able to get um, people that we needed to cast as audience members in the movie. So um, basically, the conversation revolves around um, our work that's um, needing to be the most paid attention to at that moment. Well, it, it's clear that people do respond to the right type of messaging, whether it's in marketing, whether it's in PR, what kind of ways are people utilizing social media for themselves to really have a public relations focus for the things that they or their company are doing? Well, I think, can you repeat that please? What kind of ways are people using social media to really talk about the message they have through public relations, whether it's for themselves or for their companies? Well, I think now more and more there's a focus on influencers and a focus on being um, your own brand. So I think the focus is more on authenticity. Which makes a lot of sense. So when you're really looking at what is the best answer for your client, what, what is the best way that you're finding to get them the notoriety they need for whether it's for themselves or for an event? I think the best way is to have um, connections that are already made beforehand. And so it makes it easier and quicker to reach out to those connections and get the publicity you need. And having connections really helps in so many different ways. And obviously on your end too, being someone who handles PR, having those connections can really help with getting these messages out there. So Christina, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing everything that you're up to. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you all for joining us as well. Public relations is definitely a key component that works with marketing to help get your messages out there and really get you the kind of exposure that you may not be getting just from your marketing and advertising strategies. So definitely focus that part of what you are doing in part of your messaging. There's a lot of information about uh, Christina Kumar PR here on Daily Advertise, so please check that out.
but go and have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.